class and you demonstrate something a little bit too enthusiastically, perhaps without a proper warm up, and then we get either really sore or injured the next day. So this class is here just to act as a warm up to be a nice little short flow, just to get your body ready for a night of teaching and so that you can stand super confidently at the front of your class and give all of your energy to your students. So we're actually just gonna start with a little neck stretch. You're gonna interlace your fingers behind your back and bring those hands all the way over to your right side. And then from here, take a nice big inhale, lengthen the spine, and on your exhale, let your head fall towards that right side. So you'll feel a nice stretch into the left side of your neck, finding length. Breathing nice and deeply, and then on another inhale, bring your head back to center, and we'll switch sides, coming over to the left. If you haven't figured it out, I'm mirroring you, so you can copy exactly what you see on your screen there. And then again on an inhale, growing tall, exhale, just let your head fall to the left, stretching through the side of your neck. And on your next inhale, coming back to center, we'll release. I'm just gonna turn to face the long edge of my mat here, but in the same position with my feet. You're just gonna take your hands, bring them behind you with your fingertips shining forward, and then try to open your shoulders, pull your shoulder blades together, and then you're just gently gonna lift your knees off the floor. And this will just bring a very light stretch into the front of your ankles. So kind of stretching the tops of your arches ever so slightly. You might need to play with how far away your hands need to be here. We'll just take one more breath and release back down to the floor and we'll come onto all fours. So hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. First spine, your neutral spine. And then on an inhale, drop your belly, lift your gaze up. Exhale, curve head towards your tail. And then inhale, arching up. Exhale to curve. Inhale, arch. Exhale, curve. Just really warming up that spine. Last one, inhale to arch. And exhale to curve. And we'll come back to your neutral spine. Tuck your toes behind you. Walk your hands out a couple of inches. And then we're right away gonna push up to a downward dog. And you can paddle through the feet here. Alternate bending and stretching your knees just to get into those calves. As teachers, we spend a lot of time on our feet. So that could be a lot of stress and strain on those calves. So let's send both heels down to the mat, just feeling centered in this down dog. And then on an inhale, just lift your right leg up, keep it square and straight, and then we'll swing it through. Step that foot between the palms, spin your back heel, way move the arms, finding a warrior two. So 90 degrees with that front leg, long and strong through the arms and upper body. And then on an exhale, you're gonna push to straighten that front leg and arch back into reverse warrior. And then inhale, coming back where we were in that warrior two. So exhale, push and curve. Inhale, back to warrior two. Twice more like that. Push, curve, and take it back. And push, feel nice and strong and solid through those legs. Back to your warrior two. Now from here, bring your elbow onto your thigh as we reach over, just stretching into the opposite side of your waist here. And then we'll let that left hand float to the mat, lift your back heel, open up into an easy twist. You might feel good just to rock forward and backwards a little bit here. And to wake up that lower body. And from here we'll float the right hand down on the inside of your right foot, drop your back knee, and then you're gonna lift your right toes, turn out that foot. And you can stay up on your hands here, or if you'd like a more intense hip opener, coming down onto your elbows. We'll take about five breaths here. So really allow that hip to relax. Feel a lengthening through the front of your left hip flexor. Two 
Two more breaths here. And if you were down on your elbows, coming back onto your hands, turn that foot in so it's parallel once again. And then you're gonna press into that right foot, lift up and turn out. So now you're facing, if you are using a mat, you're facing the long side of your mat. And then we're just going to transfer up and over to the other side. You can take this as slowly or as quickly as you would like. Just starting to work through those hips, opening up. We'll do two more, over towards the right. And once you get over to the left here, you're gonna turn and square up your hips into a lunge, facing forward. So now we're facing the opposite direction we were when we started, and you're gonna step back into a plank. Hold here for three breaths. And on your next exhale, lower down. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a moment to settle in this down dog. Feel length through the legs, length through the spine. And on your next inhale, we'll lift the left leg, keeping it square. Step it forward. Turn that back foot, coming to warrior two on the second side. And now again on an exhale, push and curve into your reverse warrior. Inhale to recover and plie that front leg. Exhale, push and curve. Inhale, back to warrior two. Exhale, push and curve. Warrior two. Last one. Feel long and strong through the upper body. And now we'll just take a moment to extend into our extended side angle. Just one breath here. And then we lower that right hand down in the back heel, opening up, easy twist. If you'd like to rock a little bit forward and back here, that's okay as well. And now just as before, we're gonna lower the left arm on the inside of that left foot, drop your back knee softly, and then lift your left toes, turn them out. And same thing, you can stay up on your hands or down on your elbows. Just opening up into that left hip this time. Three more breaths here. And we'll come back up onto your hands. Turning that left foot in once more, and then fire the legs, turn out, so that you're doing a lunge to the side. And then we're gonna transfer to the right, transfer to the left. If you'd like to try this time around without arms, just lifting your arms up off the floor, really firing up those legs, totally up to you. Or you can continue using your hands on the floor. Over to the left. Last one, back to the first side that we started on, and you're gonna spin yourself so we're in a forward lunge. Take that plank for three breaths once again. Really pushing the floor away from you. Taking a moment to feel that engaged core, and then we'll exhale down. Inhale to arch, and exhale, downward dog. Let's walk our hands forward, sorry, your feet forward towards your hands, so we're near the top of your mat, and just let your spine hang over your legs. We're in a red doll fold. You can grab opposite elbows and sway side to side here. And now from here, let's take a nice big plie, bend through those knees, and then release the elbows and roll up slowly through the spine. Head and shoulders on the last to recover. And we have one more little sequence before we finish off. Bring your toes all the way together, heels about an inch or so apart. And we're gonna come down into a chair pose. So send your hips back, long, long, long spine. Feel your belly button pulling in towards you. And then on an inhale, we're gonna push all the way up and think of snapping into a rise or relevant position, so lifting 
up. Ooh, it's a little tricky on the balance. Back down to your chair pose. Lifting up and back down. And really squeeze the glutes to come up and down. Three more times, up and down. Up, finding that rise, hang on to that balance, down and up. Down, last one, take it up and down. Keep those arms right beside your ears, belly button pulling in. Hang on to this chair pose for three more breaths. And from here, we'll push to stand, arms float down by your sides. You can stay where you are, but I'm just gonna turn to face you. Coming to a wide parallel second position, interlace your fingers behind your back and extend your arms out behind you. Inhale to grow and get taller. Exhale to fold forward in between those legs. Let your hands pull back behind you. So we're simultaneously lengthening through the backs of the legs and opening up through the chest here. And we'll release the hands back down onto the mat. This next part is optional. You can hang out here or grab a hold of your big toes with your two-piece fingers, so with your pointer and middle finger. Inhale to lift halfway to find a flat back. And then on an exhale, bend the elbows to lengthen that spine forward, intensifying the stretch into the backs of your legs, into your hamstrings. I feel this one for my heel all the way up into the tops of my hamstrings. And we'll release the grip of your toes if that's what you have done. Take another plie and then roll up through the spine once more to stand. Last thing, we'll come to a turned out position, heels in, toes out, coming to a nice deep second position in plie, and then just transfer your weight side to side, really open up those hips. Feel lots of space. And then we'll take the right shoulder, just twist it forward. So finding a very slight spinal twist here. Feel that twist coming from your belly button. And then we'll come back to center, and same thing on the left. And back to center. Let's push through those legs, coming all the way to sand, and you can toe heel your feet in. We'll bring our hands together in front of our heart, and namaste. Thank you so much, dance teachers, for doing this practice with me. I hope you feel nice and ready for your night of teaching ahead. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to SKR Yoga and Wellness. I release new videos every single Friday. So that's all. I'll see you on the mat again soon. Bye. I just realized I'm going to do another option, depending on how long the thing is. And from here, we'll come back to center, push through those legs, come all the way back up to sand. Let's just toe heel the feet in, so they're right underneath your hips. Just take a moment. You can let your hands rest by your sides. Close your eyes. And just make an intention for your evening of teaching. So think about the classes you have ahead of you, the students you're gonna see, and just try to choose an intention for each and every one of these classes. What sort of energy do you want to bring into the room? What do you hope to accomplish with your teaching tonight? And with that intention in mind, we'll bring our hands together in front of your hearts, bending forward. Namaste. Thank you so much, dance teachers, for doing this practice.